Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. In this episode, we are going to talk about how to add new grid lines in your project file. To create a new grid line, let's go into Architecture, Datum Panel and use the tool Grid. The keyboard shortcut to grid line is GR. In the Draw Panel, you will have an option of creating a straight grid line or a curved grid line. Let's start with straight grid line. Let's specify a start and end point. You can see here that by default, the grid lines are assigned automatically a number. This is the grid line's name, which you can change from the properties palette, or simply click on the number here and change its value. When you create a new grid line, let's go back to the grid tool or use keyboard shortcut GR and create another grid line. You can see here that the name follows the sequence that you specified before. Let's try in another direction. I will select my grid line and change its name to number one. Now the next grid line that I will create is going to be number two. When you create a grid line whose start and end point are at an alignment with the previous grid, Revit will automatically lock this alignment. This means that when you drag the extents of one grid line, all the grid lines aligned and locked to that grid are also going to move with it. If you do not want this behavior, you can unlock the alignment and then move. If you again put the end point to the alignment, Revit will automatically lock it again. If you would like to add a new grid in your project file, you may try to pause this video at this point and follow these steps. This particular type of grid that we are using shows the grid bubble only at one end. What if I want to show the grid bubble also at the other end? When you select a grid line, you have an option of ticking this box. This will make the grid bubble visible at this end. But what if I want to do it at all the grid lines? For that, we will have to go into the type properties and switch on the plan view symbols at end one. The steps to control the visibility of grid symbols using the type properties is listed here. If you would like to try this out, you may pause this video at this point and follow the steps. Now let's create a grid line using the pick lines option with an offset value in the options bar. Let's say I'm choosing one meter as my offset value. Let's pick the grid line number three. A grid line number 4 is created at 1 meter offset from grid 3. You can always come back to it and change a value if there is a need. If you would like to create a grid line using the pick lines offset option, you may pause this video at this point and try to follow these steps to do that. By creating a grid line number 4 at 1 meter from grid 3 on 1 is to 100 scale, the grid bubble is overlapping with grid 3. How do we change this? Let's click on grid number 4 and add an elbow. Using these control points, we can change the position of the grid bubble. Let's do it on this side as well. But now let's say I have multiple levels and multiple floor plans where this grid line number 4 needs to have the same extents that I have on level 0. Let's go to level 1. Here, it does not represent the same extents. Do I need to add an elbow again here? If I have many floor plans, this would be a big task. To do this more efficiently, let's click on grid number 4 and use Propagate Extends tool. Let's click on floor plan level 1 where we would like to propagate these extends and we say OK. Now let's check our level 1. Grid line number 4 has the same extends as we have on level 0. If your grid lines are too close to each other and they're grid symbols are overlapping, you may pause the video at this point and try to follow these steps to add an elbow to your grid line. In the next video, we are going to talk about some basics of creating walls. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next.